All right, welcome to another painting tutorial. Here we're looking at the Storm Talon. I actually painted up two of these at the same time. And I'll show you the video in four times speed, including some airbrushing. Uh, these are the basic paints, and I'll show you those at the end. So I started out with a black spray paint, and then uh, used the Army Painter uh, Ultramarine Blue to sort of base coat from the top down. And I'm using McCraig Blue here to, uh, to touch up everything, just to make sure it's all nice and even. So, just airbrushing that on there, and uh, as you can see, I'm doing two of them at the same time because I, uh, you know, doing two at once with the airbrush is much faster than trying to clean up and set up it all twice. So, um, going to be using basically the same technique as I did for my Land Raider and Rhinos, or Rhino Singular, and uh, so just going over everything here. So now, next layer of Calgar Blue, spraying that on kind of the flat areas. And uh, trying to get some nice variation in the in the textures, or sorry, the colors, so that the uh, you know kind of the, where two parts join, where there should be shadows, leaving that sort of uh, the darker colors, and spraying this on the flat surfaces. And uh, so I'll go back. Some of the weathering powders will help give it a bit more, a uh, bit more of a natural look, and uh, as well, you know, doing some of the panel lines will help that out. Okay, so this whole process, uh, I'm, I'm showing kind of the whole stage here. Uh, it, it doesn't take that long once you have the airbrush set up. Um, it's just cleaning things up after you're done, and cleaning out any clogs from the airbrush, that sort of thing. Okay, so now I'm adding a bit of white to the Calgar Blue, just so that I can get uh, you know a bit more highlight. Because the airbrush, I'm doing it on very thin, so uh, this way it just goes on a bit more, a um, bit lighter, uh, a bit more opaque than the, the previous steps here. And so again, I'm trying to <clears throat> excuse me, trying to make sure that I just focus on the edges and get the highlights done up nicely. And then uh, a couple more steps here with the airbrush, just while I have it out, just to help speed things up later. Um, I'm going to go on to black. So I'm using uh, I'm using Vallejo uh, model air paints here for the black and silver. Um, I really like how they're in the dropper bottles. I don't have to mix anything. And so it's just a faster process, and they, they paint on quite nicely. They also paint on nicely with a brush. Um, as you can see, I'm free handing this here. I'm not too worried about getting everything exact. I'm going to you know, cover up some of that with the, um, the, the weathering powders, so I'm not too worried about everything there. Okay, and then using some uh, gunmetal from uh, Vallejo Model Air as well. And uh, I'm doing up the, uh, the guns here. Sorry, it's off screen. Didn't realize that. And I'm doing just a little bit of those nozzles just to help, again, help speed things up once I'm painting it on by hand. Um, but staying away from any of the blue areas so I don't get any overspray. Okay, now I'm going to be uh, moving over to my other my hobby desk. Uh, so the airbrush is away and I'm done with that. So just painting on the silver here and the, the model air paints are nicely thinned down. They don't go on super opaque, but that's okay because I'm going to be doing some washes and and uh, highlighting after, so I'm not too worried about any small bits of blue showing through. So it's painting up those nozzles there, some of the uh, instrument arrays at the back, and uh, a couple other silver details here and there. Okay, now uh, to get some more of the definition on the, the model, I'm using Ethereum Blue, that's one of the dry paints, and this the large dry brush there, and just trying to get all the edges highlight it up a bit. So I find that after using the airbrush, this is a nice quick way of getting a bit more uh, edge definition uh, on the model. Um, you could obviously paint this on with the edge paints or mix up some of your own blue and white, um, but I just, I find painting edges just take way too long, so I just dry brush them from vehicles. Okay, using Mephiston Red for the, uh, the pilots here, the Tech Marine sort of pilots and just painting it on quick, not worried about getting all the details because you're not going to see much of that once the canopy's on there. So just painting on a quick base coat and do that with both of these. Okay, and I'm going to wash that. Uh, as you can see, I used the, the red on the missiles as well, the missile pods, which I've magnetized. Um, I used all the bits for the heavy bolter uh, gun uh, otherwise. And I figure that, uh, you know, it looks close enough that if I just swap out the front piece, that's good enough. 
Okay, putting a little gold on that front eagle there. Um, I didn't see any other gold that I did on it, so that's all, all there was. And now a nice long step of Newland oil over all the silver. So I'm not worried about getting this on too thick because um, I'm going to be using some weathering powders on the, the nozzles of those jets and uh, just making sure that I get uh, a decent layer of this on all of the silver that I just painted. And this just helped make it look, look a little bit more natural. It's not really adding any weathering or anything, just helping uh, with the shadows and that sort of thing. Okay, Evil Sun Scarlet highlighting up the pilot after the wash is dried. And again, just trying to get this on pretty quick. Um, not worried about tons of detail on the pilots because uh, once the canopy's on there, um, it's going to be... Uh, hard to see anything anyway so just trying to get the impression that the, the pilot is a bit highlighted and then Wild Rider Red uh, highlighting up the tips of the missiles as well as a bit on the pilot and uh, making sure that I have the missiles right side up so I'm highlighting the top edge a bit more than the bottom edge and there we go a little bit of line highlighting on the pilot okay for the uh, the silver now I'm using Necron compound it's the dry paint um, I like this, uh, you know, silver looks decent uh, dry brushed on, so again, trying to get the edges of that and uh, making sure that I don't get any of the silver on any of the other bits. Um, I suppose you could use this for uh, for some paint chips and that sort of thing, but I didn't bother doing that. I'm just going to use the weathering powders instead. So all the various silver bits there, just trying to get nice, uh, good coverage on everything. And there's the guns. I didn't bother doing any blue on those, just kept them all silver with the, the wash on it as well. Okay, Genna's Gold on the, the, the gold bits there. Uh, I didn't show it, but I, I use Agrax Earthshade to shade that. And here we go, moving over to the weathering powder. So um, I would suggest doing a... Uh, oh, actually, I didn't show it, but I put on some decals um, as well. I would suggest putting your, uh, your matte finish on before doing this. Uh, the matte finishes tend to kill the powders, uh, really knock it down a notch. So I'm using the black around the nozzles there and going to use some you know, charred bits here and there around those vents and a couple spots randomly around the, the vehicle. And then we're using a Europe Dust weathering powder um, on some of the lower edges. The idea just being that it's uh, you know, a bit of dirt that's been kicked up when these things are hovering or something along those lines. And then I use a bit of a pigment fixer here that's from AK, uh, AK what is it, miniatures. Um, AK Interactive, that's what it is, and uh, just dabbing that on here and there, and I do go back and touch up some of the, the weathering powders after, just because I find that knocks it down a little bit, so will help keep things um, a little bit more obvious and help the, keep them a bit more uh, durable with gameplay. Okay, now I'm using Micro Crystal Clear, it's basically a white glue, um, I'm putting it around the edges of the canopy, I don't really know if white glue would do the exact same thing, but I have this, so I'm using it. And just painting on both edges that are going to touch each other and pressing that on there nicely and wiping away any glue. So yeah, again, here's the paints I used. Uh, all these still images will be on my blog. And so you can uh, sit through these if you'd like right now. I've got some uh, different angles of these things uh, at the very end, but I won't bother keeping the commentation going. So uh, anyways, hope you enjoyed this. Uh, just one more piece to my Ultramarines army. And... Uh, yeah, I'm not sure what we're going to be painting up next, but I'm sure it'll be interesting. So if you have any comments, any suggestions, please uh, leave me a, a comment in the, uh, I guess it's Google Plus now, or you can go over to my blog and leave a comment there. I'll be posting this here, there, with all these still images. And uh, there you go. So there's the two Storm Talons all painted up, done together. And uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you next time.